Hey guys, Cleve here. I just want to make this video to introduce people to how to utilize the building system within Planet Coaster. It's a very, on the surface, simple system, but there are a lot of intricacies in the system that can be very difficult to grasp um, for newer players. And I think that the game and system itself are really powerful and it's important that people understand uh, how to best make use of the system. So, um, for example, um, for starters, I should say, the first thing that is really important to realize um, is the concept of a building. Uh, a building in Planet Coaster is a collection of objects that are exist on one grid. Um, and the way you know whether or not an object is going to exist on a grid or be free placed is whether or not it has a grid behind it here on the thumbnail. So anything with a grid behind it is grid based. Anything with a white background uh, can be freely placed and freely rotated within that building. Uh, the next thing to realize is that buildings as a group exist uh, on their own grid space. So when you select a building, like we have right here, this building, um, you're presented with a group of options. One of the options here is the ability to move this entire building. Uh, right now you are in what I call building select mode. Um, you've got one building here and another building here. Clicking on each building toggles the, the selection between the two buildings. You are presented with similar options. Um, this option allows you to recolor the building. Since two different types of pieces are selected in this building, we don't have that colorization option available to us. However, the rest of the options are exactly the same. In this option, in this, in this mode, we're allowed to move the entire building. We're also allowed to rotate the building by tapping Z or by holding Z or by disabling angle select. We can pull it to any angle we want. We can also use advanced move by tapping X, and this allows us to move the entire building. Now we need to understand the second layer of the building system, which is actually building edit mode. The way you enter building edit mode is by clicking on the building you would like to edit and using either the R hotkey or clicking this pencil icon right here, edit building. Now we are editing this building itself and the pieces. We can no longer move the entire building without first selecting all of it and then pushing the M key. And notice when we do, we are now moving the entire grid four by four along the, uh, we are moving the entire pieces along the four by four grid. Um, we can cut the grid down size in half, but we are still locked to the same grid. When we're in this mode, we are only able to edit the building within that grid space. Uh, we are not able to grab another building, for example, and pull that building into our grid. These two grids cannot coexist within each other in this in this concept. However, in this mode, it's it's able you are able to freely pick up these pieces. I can pick this piece up and move it over here. I can pick this piece up and I can rotate it. But notice that you can only rotate these pieces within the concept of the grid 90 degrees. Really important to to remember that. So remember, we've got two completely distinct edit modes here. We've got building selection. When nothing else is selected and you click on a building, you enter building selection mode. Once the building is edited, we push edit with the R key. And now we can click on pieces and move those. We can also click on multiple pieces with the control key and move all of them at the same time, or we can box select as much or as little of the building we want, move it and rotate it. Now for a little bit of an advanced uh, tutorial on what you can do within this. So let's say we want to utilize this piece right here that we've made, this prefab, and make a little fence. Um, now if we were, say for example, going along a straight line, we could um, have this building selected, go into edit mode, select the entire building, and then duplicate the selection with control D and simply make a fence like that, really simply. However, let's say we want our fence to have a bend in it. We've got a bend coming up in our path. We, won't, we are unable to do that 
within the context of our grid, because remember, grids only work within 90 degree spaces. So one thing we can do is we can select the piece that we'd like to duplicate in our, in this case, we'd like this wall and this pillar and click this button right here, split selection from building. What this does is now drop us into building selection mode again, remember layer one, and this is completely separated this building into two buildings. Now you see we're toggling between these two buildings, total objects eight, total objects two, and we have 10 building, we have 10 objects in front of us. We can no longer edit all of this together. However, what we can do is treat this piece like it's an entirely different building. Now we can go into movement mode or advanced movement mode with this piece and we can rotate it to the angle that we need to continue our fence along. Now if that we're continue along this uh, if we're going to continue the fence along at this angle and we want to just duplicate this piece, it's very simple. Select it, go into edit building mode, select the whole building and control D and keep going. Now, if we say, for example, really like this piece, and we'd like to save this as a blueprint, ideally we would probably do this as step one. Let's split its sele selection from the building again, and we can now move it wherever we want, select it, and save it as a blueprint. Our fence. Give it a tag. Tags are relevant. And now we've got our own piece. We can go into blueprints and we can make our own fences over here. Remember we have to, if we want to duplicate this, go into building selection mode, then go into building edit mode, select the entire building and continue to duplicate as such. Now we have options. If we want to bend at this point, we can go into blueprints. We can pull another one out if we'd like, or we could have gone to split selection from building and done it that way too. Whatever you feel is more comfortable for you in the moment. And that's all I've got for you for this video. Hopefully this helps you understand the building system a little bit better. Please like the video if it helped you. Leave me a comment in the comment section if you don't understand, or if you would like me to cover another topic in the video, and I would be happy to do so. Thank you so much, guys.